Welcome to the fractionalist office. This is uh, the 10th floor, 248 West 35th Street. While well, we have staff who work around the country, um, this is our only official um, office for fractionalists, and the majority of us, um, majority of staff work um, or call this office home base. So let's take, we have the entire floor, let's take a tour around, around the floor. This is our high top desk where people sit or spread out. Um, some people work here all day, some people just pop in there for a little bit. We have our file cabinets where people can store their things. This is our mom's room. In our renovation that we did, uh, March 2016, we pre preserved some of our old office. We used to have a backyard in our office, so we figured out a way to keep the synthetic turf and pink flamingos. So we provide a little bit more character for the space. We're here in our library. We have a lot of people working. This is the library space. Everyone stores their books in the uh, chromatically organized uh, bookshelves. It's a quiet space, so we just broke that rule. I'll be quiet again. And this is our meadow. There's 18 seats in, in the space. Uh, most of them are flexible seating. Um, those who work in the office five days a week have the option for a dedicated seat. Um, but most people just sort of plop down wherever um, and spend, spend the day or spend a couple of minutes or spend a couple hours. We have our photos of past exploits on staff. It's a nice connection to those who came before us um, and reminders of some things we've done over the years. All of our phones run through a computer, so you can hear the, the ringing, uh, which also means that you can work anywhere there's an internet connection, because as long as you have your laptop and your headset, you're mobile. People working, people working. Come on into our kitchen. This is our kitchen space with a great view for the time being. You can see Penn Station, Madison Square Garden, the main post office for New York City, and the site where they're building a 33-story hotel that's going to block our entire view. So for the next couple of months, we have a great, a great view. We have a soda screen maker. We have multiple ways of making tea, multiple ways of making making coffee, we have office gum. Go ahead and, if someone's name's not on it, it's probably communal, so go ahead and dive in, grab what you need. Popcorn for the late afternoon. Here's our core behavioral board. Got our shredder there. This is the gray room. It's our mid-sized conference room. It has eight seats. Nicola made these nice DIY acoustical tiling pieces. They're also fun to feel because they're felt. All of our spaces have video conferencing capability because nearly all of our meetings are on video. Um, so people are either um, on their laptops or in a puddle room. This is our standing desk room. That also includes a treadmill desk. All the spaces have very desks, so depending on where you like your computer. All the open spaces have two monitors, so you can just plug in. We have some of the posters from when Fracture House was a theater production company. So these were some of the original productions that, that we did um, in the late 90s, early 2000s. We have three different phone booths that people can use because we have an open office setup, so um, these couple of phone booths, you can just jump in for a quick call or if you're on a webinar or if you're going to be on a video conference and you don't want to be in a larger space, you can just set up here. We have our wall of t-shirts because it's not, a, it's not an event unless you have a t-shirt. So we have t-shirts for our various Octepra Fests, um, the triathlon that we did, a very early um, relic from the Fracturalis uh, beginning days. Um, we have several small conference rooms. This is the blue room. Seats four, maybe five. 
um, whiteboard. All of our spaces have Apple TV because most people run uh, MacBooks so they can throw um, stuff up on the monitor. All of our spaces also have calendars outside so you can see if the space is booked or if it's not booked, who's booked it. Syncs up with Google so you can just schedule online. We have one of our three phone booths that's outfitted with a monitor and um, an actual chair. Um, this is the space that most people use when they do webinars to make sure that they have a constant connection to the internet and, a, and a, multiple screens. This is our red room. It's a four-person conference room. Also has a whiteboard and some DIY acoustical tiling purchased at IKEA. And our last space is our orange room, and this is our main conference room. So this space seats 14. We have extra chairs. This is where we do full staff meetings. Um, we also have a, the largest video set up here, so usually for, for full staff meetings, we have 10 or more people on, on video, and then we sort of all cram into the, the space, and it makes it nice and cozy. And that's about the tour. So, so at the end of the tour, you can put your coat in here when you come in. You can put your umbrella in there. And then we have some, as we move toward the, the exit, we have some articles that have featured Fractalis over the, the years. This is our mural painted by the Baltimore Love Project, uh, project one of our fiscal sponsor projects out of Baltimore. Uh, this was an original commission. Um, they actually took a tag cloud of all the artistic disciplines that Fractalis serves. And um, the artist uh, Michael Owen spent two days in the office and just kept layering over um, the artistic disciplines and various paint to create um, our original um, Baltimore Love Project um, love mural. 